Hi Otters! We are about to start a historic year, so I thought I would read the exceptionally, extraordinarily ordinary first day of school for our very first Sunday story. We start with a picture of murals and John's first day of school. Welcome back to school everyone, said Mrs. Dewey, the librarian. What do you think about the new murals that were finished over the summer? Before we discuss them, let's all welcome your new classmate. John, where did you move from and how do you like our new school so far? Well, I come from pretty far away. We had to travel down crocodile infested rivers, fly in a hot air balloon across a vast jungle filled with wild beasts, and then hire a car to get here, said John. But I like it. It's ordinary enough. That is what my family is looking for. Ordinary. This is pretty similar to my old school, especially after my uncle painted the murals. Here's some pictures of his school bus. Did he? asked Mrs. Dewey. They seem so lifelike. Tell us, what was an ordinary day at your school like? Well, here I walked to school, whereas before I had to take the bus. It was always a rowdy scene. This place looks pretty new, continued John. My old school is really, really old and kind of a hangout for ravens. It could be sort of messy. Our teachers welcomed us on the first day of school, just like here, but sometimes they made us sort of nervous, all the growling and lip smacking. There was always a kid or two who went missing. I mean, who didn't come back for day two. You mean they transferred? Asked Mrs. Dewey. You could call it that, said John. We called it passing on. What kind of classes did you take, John? asked Mrs. Dewey with a puzzled look on her face. In our natural science class, continued John, we saw a lot of nature close up, extremely close up, because Mr. Origins didn't believe in cages. We had to be careful not to get droppings on our desks. History was my favorite class, said John. Mrs. Olden Times said the best way to understand history was to meet and talked to the people who made it. She introduced us to a lot of people. In band, continued John, the music seemed to come to life and the instruments too. And what about the food in the cafeteria? Asked a kid. Delicious, exclaimed John, though sometimes sort of sad because we might eat what we studied in science that day. I don't think I'd wanna do that, would you? And what did you study in English class? asked Mrs. Dewey with a frown. English was always rockin', asked, answered John. The characters and places flew off the pages. Sometimes they would rearrange themselves in the stories though, and that made test time hard. Computer class was pretty basic, said John, just programming and stuff. During recess, continued John, we would race horses, bungee jump, and parasail. It was great fun. Mrs. Modish, our art teacher, believed in freestyle art, said John, which always made a big splash on parents' night. Once a year, we went on a field trip, said John. We went on one last year, said a girl sitting nearby, to the zoo. Oh, that sounds like fun, responded John. We never went to places with animals or anything interesting like that. I think you went somewhere even more interesting, huh? Well, John, what an extraordinary place your old school was, said Mrs. Dewey. It was too extraordinary, said John. I'm game for just plain ordinary. Uh-oh, I don't think my uncle agrees with me. When school was out, John walked home, just like the other ordinary students, though a lot of them appeared to be running pretty fast. How was your first day, honey? Did they like Uncle Fresco's murals, asked his mom. They did at first, I think. The librarian wanted me to tell everyone about my old school, said John. Did you tell her and the class what a nice school it was, asked his mom. I tried, but Mrs. Dewey and the kids suddenly all ran away. Can't Uncle Fresco paint a still life sometime? And that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to have all of you start your classes on Thursday. I'll be popping in to say hello. Have a great day and go Otters! Splash!